Hey, Christmas and holiday light enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Maybe you're like me and you've recently installed permanent LED holiday lights on your house and you use WLED and want to level up your Christmas display and have other LED lights all synced together. Or maybe you're just starting out with WLED and you want to learn how to sync different lights you have. Today, we're taking that next step of syncing our holiday light displays. We're adding three new light displays and we'll sync them all together. We have a 400 outdoor pebble lights we're going to wrap around our porch posts. And we have a Christmas wreath with 50 outdoor fairy lights. And we have 50 outdoor C9 WS2811s to outline our flower bed. So let's get at it. First up on our holiday lighting checklist is to wrap our front porch with the pebble lights. For the wiring diagram, please see a link in the description or the Yay. video info card above. Feeling good about that. Got the porch lights all wrapped up nice and neat the way I want them. About as even as I think I'm going to get them here. And got them installed working pretty good. And they are also now already syncing with the house. You can see the lights are changing with the lights of the house. And they're synced up. Today's project is we're going to wrap these BTF fairy lights around this 30 inch Christmas reef. And here are the parts and pieces we're going to need. So. 16.4 feet of the fairy light, little project box, a little uh, D1 mini, a US, micro USB cable, and just a power block. This is off an old iPhone power block, it works fine. Uh, so we're gonna wrap that all up and integrate this into our overall permanent LED lights we have on our house. The way it's gonna work is, is these are IP65 rated lights, so they're perfectly fine to be outdoors, but this is the intake side, so the data inside. We'll cut these wires and we'll just solder them per the wiring diagram into this D1 mini board. Then we're just gonna use this micro USB to power the entire thing, which will power the D1 mini and it'll power up the fairy lights uh, as well. So it should be a pretty simple, easy project today. Not much soldering, just three little wires onto this board. And then we'll just put it all into that case. Maybe put some silicone around the edges to seal that off entirely and then we're going to hang it on the house. This is one of the more simple ones to solder and assemble and put together. So you have the power positive on the outside in the red, data in the middle and ground on the outside. Very simple. And then all we have to do is connect it 5 volt. So we connect the red to the positive to the 5 volt, the ground uh, to there and then the D4 is the data wire that we're going to need to connect that one. So pretty simple connection today. And here we have the 5 volt ground and data wire soldered to the ESP8266 D1 mini board. Once I got WLED installed, brought it back out to the workbench, plugged it in, and just that little 5 volt connection actually just powered these right up. At least the uh, first 30 lights like normal. We'll have to go ahead and configure it for this entire string. Next is we're going to wrap all of this on the wreath and get it hung up. I got the lights wrapped on the Christmas wreath and uh, hung it up there. And I was able to pull this little uh, white trim piece off the house and drill a hole through to get the wires all the way through. And then I was able to tuck the little control box with the ESP controller uh, in behind that. So it's nice and neat and tucked out of the way from the weather which makes it quite nice. And so this is set up and running and I already have it syncing with the house. Next part of this little project is gonna install these C9 lights uh, to outline our garden area of our front yard. And so they currently come with a their own controller and we're going to dissect that controller box and put in one of our own D1 minis and install WLED on that. So all of this will work with the rest of our home and sync lights together. Once we get the, all that configured, then we'll go out in the yard, install them, and put them on these little uh, uh, C9 posts that we have that you just stick in the yard. I've got a lot going on here, but just wanted to catch up on this project. So I desoldered the wires off from this board. So the power wires are coming in here, and then the, the C9 wires were going out and were connected here. So I desoldered them and this is how I reconfigured it on the D1 mini board. So it's got the uh, the positive 
the ground and then the data wire coming out like this. So the data wire in this case off the D1 Mini goes to the white wire and in this case the power wire is the green wire going into the lights. So that's how it's configured and then I'm just going to plug this in over here. Sorry for the mess, got multiple projects going on and that is how it works just like that. So now I can go into WLED and configure that to match my permanent LED house lights. Now the next step is I just want to take all of this and put it back in that nice little case it had because it's nice and watertight and uh, looks like it's a good little case to have for outdoor use. So I'm going to put the D1 Mini in there, get this all wrapped up and uh, it'll be ready for installing on the yard. Got it all back together nice and neat. So it's pretty watertight on both ends. Imagine that might allow some moisture in, but I'm gonna probably put all this in a sealed box anyway, but nice little box. Buttons don't work obviously anymore, but it is ready to go outside for the rest of my holiday lights. All right, they're going up. Installing them, there's 50 of them. I'm gonna put them on right around the edge of the yard here. Just like that and go up there. So just a nice little outline. So then the addition will be the wreath and a couple of lights around the porch. Should look pretty good. Got the yard outline lights, this little C9 lights all installed and hooked up and connected and I have the little box right here where the controller is that we just put together and it's in a nice waterproof box it's connected to Wi-Fi to my house real close by and got it connected to a uh, long extension cord here where it all gets powered on with a master switch up there through a smart switch uh, through my smart home automation now that we have the three additional holiday features installed, the Christmas wreath, the porch lights, and the garden area of their front yard outlined, the next step is to turn on the syncing feature in WLED. So I have my house lights here, and I have the WLED front wreath, and then I have the pebble lights and the yard C9 lights. So the first thing I do is go into the house lights, go into config, go down to sync interfaces, and I wanna set this up so that the sync group one, in my case, you can have it any one of these, but I chose sync group one to be the main sync group for the house. So you set this up so that it's just sending on sync group one and not receiving anything at this point. You click save and you go back, and then you go down to, let's start with the front wreath, and you go into config, go down to sync interfaces, and in this case, you say you want it to receive on sync group one, and then you want it to receive only the brightness, color, and effects. Ignore the segment and bounds. Those are a little funky and not working well right now. Then let's go ahead and do the other one, do the pebble lights, which is the one on the front porch. Config, sync interfaces, sync group one, same thing, save, go back, and finally do the C9 yard lights, config, sync interfaces, so now we go back into the house LED, WLED, and all we have to do is click sync. And now that we've clicked sync, all the other lights are now receiving the settings of whatever we have on the house lights. So now I can go over to my presets and I can configure any of these so I can click on Christmas glow and all the lights will go to the Christmas glow or any of the other presets I have. I can also playlist I have a playlist set up here called Christmas Fast, which I have five or six of my favorite Christmas presets set up to go every 15 seconds. So if I click on that one, it'll just run through my playlist and it'll sync the lights as it scrolls through the playlist. And that's how it works. Here's the final look. So we've added the wreath, we added the porch lights, and we added the little yard lights down here. All of these are now syncing with WLED and with the house lights. So all I have to do is change the house lights and everything else 
changes with it. So going into WLED here, go into the house lights, change one of the presets to currently got it set to Christmas GRB. Let's call it Christmas Glow. So as I change it to Christmas Glow, you can see that the lights all change to match perfectly. So let's go Christmas, red, there we go. Super cool. Got a candy cane in here somewhere. So there you go, just like that. Got them all syncing together and it works perfectly. And there you have it, a guide to syncing your holiday lights with WLED. Elevate your holiday spirit and make your home fun and inviting for the holidays. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and let's light up this holiday season together. And thanks for watching.